New year, new things on tap. Welcome to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. It's season two, episode 32. 2023 is off and running. More holidays are on the horizon. President's Day, Valentine's Day, even Groundhog Day. Well, if there are six more weeks of winter, the Poconos is the perfect place to venture out on the slopes, in the brew pubs, along the Pocono Beverage Trail, or settle into a spa or a charming downtown. We have it all. Over the years, we have seen more and more of those aforementioned breweries. That's why the Beverage Trail now has a digital passport at PoconoBeveragetrail.com, where you can check in at different spots and score gear, including a snazzy hat I got to model at Barley Creek and Log Tavern Brewing Companies for the January Pocono Mountains magazine. Those discussions with the guys behind the brews in just a bit. The Poconos is a year-round destination for millions, with 2,400 square miles of mountains, forests, lakes, and rivers, with historic downtowns and iconic family resorts. It's the perfect getaway for a weekend or an entire week. You can always find out more on PoconoMountains.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, streaming live 24-7. That's at PoconoTelevision.com. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. We'll have a new episode each week highlighting lots of the fun things you can experience right here in the Poconos. Subscribe and leave a review and or comment on whatever platform you listen. Now, back to the episode. It was 27 years ago when Barley Creek in Tannersville opened its doors for the first time. The first microbrewery to open in the modern era here in the Poconos. And then just a handful of years ago, Log Tavern Brewery burst on the scene in Milford to add to the different flavors and essential experiences right here in these mountains. I was fortunate enough to share a pint with Trip Ruvain and Ryan Scott for this episode. Enjoy. Hey everyone, it's Jim Hamill with Pocono Mountains Podcast, and we are sitting right here on the very date of birth of huh. Barley Creek Brewing Company. Trip Ruvain, the proprietor here, the guy who has really kind of manifested this place over and over and over, expansion and expansion, new different offerings here at this brewery distillery it is an amazing space and it's on the pocono beverage trail so that's why we wanted to stop in but it just was happenstance this is on your 27th anniversary 27th anniversary welcome thank you and uh and you know we're we're having fun um we had fun 27 years ago and we're uh, we're gonna keep doing it um you know for years to come um you're you're sitting um at arguably um a new a new bar area Ooh. um and next year we'll probably blow something up one of my favorite things that um, happened when I was growing up in the Poconos, I, I worked at a resort and the owner at the resort said, you know what gets guests to come back? Change. Just make sure yeah. that uh, when a guest comes back, they see that you've invested some of their hard earned dollars mm -hmm. um, back into the facility. So I like doing that. So it's not the same that it was 27 years ago. Every, uh, every year we <laughs> like to, we, uh, I, I actually enjoy when a guest come back and say, that's different. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, now a good beer geek yeah. is gonna say, I really like your rescue IPA. Oh, cheers to that. And, uh, and I'm glad you haven't changed it. Yeah. But um, the new, the new um, generation, give me a sour. Um, the new generation, give me a, uh, um, an RTD, a ready to drink cocktail. Right, right. Uh, you know, um, it's a whole I, new ballgame. Yeah, really. the new generation uh, isn't looking for um, the cask condition um, hand pull, although my generation will still enjoy that. Absolutely. And so to think that you poured not just your heart and soul, but this is cable, right? This is cable. Okay, right. good. We're, 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 we're totally fine imbibing here um, because it's huh. quality assurance, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Well, you guys poured your heart and soul into creating this place and pretty much every nickel and penny too. And to think that so many people have been in and out of these doors over the years, benefiting from what you've created here, brewed here and sent home with them, you know, to come back every season. It, it's fun. Um, so when we opened up in 95, mm -hmm. I think a craft beer was considered yingling. Yeah, absolutely. Was. So, yeah. so we actually had to convince people what, what a craft beer was. Right. And a craft beer is kind of very similar to um, actually having a bakery right next to you. So it's fresh baked bread. It's a high quality product. 
um, that, you know, the shelf life is a little less than the shelf life uh, of some of our major, um, you know, players who heat pasteurize and, right. and go ahead and filter out um, what I would consider valuable taste. Right. Um, so um, what we try and do is make sure that uh, this rescue IPA is gone in 14 days. Okay. Now, if it isn't gone in 14 days <clears throat> because we canned it, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you're going to get that four pack and we're going to tell you, please keep it out of direct sunlight and keep it in your refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. Or drink it. Absolutely. Yeah, because it has yeah. a, a shelf life to it. Yeah. Yeah. It's as it, all beer should. It's a fresh beer. It's um, it's still got live yeast in it. Oh yeah. And then, quite frankly, um, I think it tastes pretty good. It's flavorful. Cheers. To say the very least. Cheers to you as well. Um, and and saying 27 years now, you really have kind of pioneered for this region, the craft beer industry, and now you've seen that take off, and that's why really the Pocono Beverage Trail, of course wearing these pretty cool new swag hats that you can get as you check in to all these locations throughout the four counties. But you were the first. Yeah. And then now you see the proliferation across the entire destination. So so we may have been the first, but I but I actually saw this coming. If you go if when when I started this, um, California and Maine had a ten year head start. Yeah. Pennsylvania was um, a little bit slow to to embrace it. Um, having said that, you go back to pre-prohibition, Pennsylvania had one of the biggest um, craft brewing mm -hmm. um, empires. I think we had like 1,600 um, oh, yeah. breweries in PA um, pre-prohibition. We're probably approaching that now. Okay. So I've always believed, um, you know, the uh, fraternity, the sorority of these brew pubs and brewers mm -hmm. um, is a good thing. It and is. it's a good thing for Pennsylvania. Um, it brings in uh, new industry, um, high-paying industry. It um, it actually gives us, um, you know, uh, an ability to say not only are we foodies, um, but but we know what we're doing with beer. Right, you're you're definitely foodies too. You can like pair a lot of different experiences here from the Opry Ski. You know, it's that kind of yep. season right now where we're filming. Um, during the season, you can be out there at the Wiffle Ball or or at the S'mores and and do a lot of different kind of things to make this experiential and different every single time. Yeah. Well, you know, it, it isn't just a, uh, it, it isn't just a Bavarian pretzel. It can be a uh, smoked meatloaf. Sure. Um, <laughs> you know, it can be, uh, you know, it, it, you're know, you right. It can be a five-star, it can be a five-star meal if your culinary team is up for the challenge. Absolutely. And ours is sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And, and talk about, you've got a big array of things here too, from the Pocono Punch to a lot of canned um, things, bottled things, distilleries. Um, spirits. I mean, we've got bacon flavored vodka. I mean, <laughs> you guys really kind of try to cater to everybody's taste and interest really across the spectrum. Well, I, I get a kick out of the bacon flavored vodka because you know, so well, why would you want bacon flavored vodka? <laughs> well, have you ever had a Bloody Mary? Yeah. And so a bacon flavored vodka with a uh, m uh, with a Bloody Mary sampler at our breakfast concept. And when I say a, a, a sampler, there's four different four ounce Bloody Marys that have different vodkas, and one of them is our uh, bacon vodka. So wow. long story short, yeah, we're making some really interesting, fun, tasty products, but the but the but that middle initial is fun. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're having fun with it. You certainly are, and that's, that's the vibe I get when I walk into this place. You know, the staff welcomes you right in the door, like all the things happening across the whole property are inviting, and that's like something of, you know, if people are looking for something to do when they're in the region or or even they live here and they want to get out of the house for a little while, this is almost like a, you know, home away from home. Yeah. But, but there's people here to kind of take good care of you and kind of let, let you sample different things that you might not have sampled before, kind of wet your palate a little bit. We did, um, you know, when I when I got out of my first career, which was um, fascinatingly uh, boring, was banking. When I got out of my first career, um, you know, the research said, People are going to need a third place. So you've got uh, you've got home, you've got work, mm -hmm. and you've got a third place. So whether that's the library, the the, the barber shop, the beauty shop, um, or your local pub, like Cheers. Yeah. Well, then all of a sudden COVID hits, and you don't have a second place. True. You know. Yeah. You know. You got. And you home. want to get the heck away from the you, first place. Yeah. <laughs> you got you got a home and 
and home, yeah. which is yeah. home in your office. So um, I think what we try and figure out is um, how do we give our guests a little bit of a mini vacation for an hour or an hour and a half? Um, and how do we um, make sure that we exceed their expectations with not necessarily entertainment, but fun? Yeah. Um, yeah. And so that's, um, that's been a theme for the 27 years, and it's going to be a theme continuing to go forward. So thanks for coming in. Yeah. Let's see if we can, you know, make sure that you have a good time. Oh, that's that's, that's clearly the, the key. And, and then you can also see where that craft brew is brewed. It's right here on premise. So you can take a gander at all the, um, um, you know, machinery downstairs yeah. from upstairs. You can probably, do you guys do tours? Do you guys do any kind of thing, you know, like that to kind of immerse people in what they're actually drinking? Yeah, absolutely. So so we had a, we had tours seven days a week yeah. pre-COVID. Yeah. Um, and people are still a little uh, nervous. Having sure. said that, um, we can do tours um, by request. Sure. And, uh, and we're um, convincing our brewers to go ahead and uh, bring that back mm -hmm. on a, uh, <laughs> Pay to play because um, <laughs> yeah. we're going to tip the brewers with it. Of course. On a pay to play, um, probably on weekends. Okay. Um, the beauty of our brewing house or brew house, it's a 10 barrel system mm -hmm. and it's uh, that's th that's 20 half kegs at okay. a time is what we can brew. Um, when you're giving a tour of the brewery, everybody swears they have the best ingredients. Yeah. We, we have the best ingredients. <laughs> yeah. No, I swear. <laughs> and, um, and the theory is barley, malt, water and hops, mm -hmm. yeast, some people will say that. Our water is our own 700 foot artesian well in the front yard okay. that we drilled. Yeah. And we hit water at 150 feet, we hit a geyser at 700 feet. And that's why I think um, we make really good uh, spirits, Yeah. we make really good moonshine, we make really good beer. You know. I can and, vouch and, for that. Yeah, and, um, and in fact the Broadhead Watershed Association gave us a uh, a nice little um, um, you know, commemorative plaque mm -hmm. that says um, a pristine um, a, a pristine river that's vertical. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah. So, so a well is yeah, it's a 700 yeah. foot vertical creek. That's amazing. So so Barley Creek is um, you know it isn't your typical creek. It's actually straight down into the, into a lake. <laughs> You've hit gold. I that's think for so. Sure. We're having fun uh, mining it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then in terms of uh, what, what, where's Barley Creek going? Uh, more of the uh, ready to drink cocktails. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Where are we going? Um, you know, more fun with our guests in the dining environment. Um, just recently, we expanded our bar, our bar area. Right. Um, just recently, we bought a deli down the road. Um, that could be fun. Expansion is kind of like the name of the game for you. Then. Yeah, I, I think um, I think I've got enough talented staff that are motivated for more responsibility and more challenges. Mm -hmm. And the last thing I want to do is hold back someone and lose them. Right. If if I can actually promote someone because they want to go ahead and grow, I'll grow with them. That's amazing. Yeah. You guys really have kind of, I think, fit into what is here. You know, you've got the crossings just down the road. You got Camelback Resort up the hill, and then the rest of the Poconos all the way around you. So you, you are really like location wise, central to a lot of different things happening here. So people could really kind of fit that into their, their weekend trip or, you know, their, their weekend, uh, you know, uh, excursion to, to run errands, you know, and, and kind of get the family or a date or whatever else you want. I looked at the, um, I looked at the big picture of the beverage trail. Yeah. And yeah, there are sections where I want to go up north there are sections where I want to go south. And, and when you look at the beverage trail, we're right in the heart of it. <laughs> so you can go up north and finish here. Yeah. And you can start here and go south. Anyway, long story short, the beverage trail is beautiful. Right. I'm glad that uh, we're part of it. Yeah. Um, but I'm also glad that we picked this location, too. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> it's the heart not of the... happenstance, I would imagine. No, no, that was not a mistake. It was fun. <laughs> well, when... When you get to be the first, you get to pick first. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Right. right, that artesian well, you knew. Yeah. Yeah. So, Trip Ruvain, anything else you want to share with us here on Pocono Mountains Podcast about, you know, what Barley Creek is about and what really you guys offer uh, patrons, you know, on any season and, and any kind of flavor? So, so one of my favorite um, expressions to, uh, to some of my local friends is um, I, I grew up here. Mm -hmm. And so I would like to say 
that this is your local watering hole. Yeah. This is your local brewery. This is your local distillery. And all of the members of the uh, Beverage Trail um, are, are that as well. So support the locals, mm -hmm. support your local Beverage Trail. Every once in a while, you say, oh my God, Barley Creek is on Camelback Road. There's so many um, visitors. Mm -hmm. um, it's not it's not the local place that I thought it was. In my humble opinion, those visitors are locals mm -hmm. just from a little further away. <laughs> <laughs> I could subscribe to that absolutely. Cause, yeah, because it's true. Yeah. So so we're gonna take care of them, and uh, and then as soon as mud season comes around and the ski season's <laughs> over. We'll, we'll probably have a party. <laughs> right, yeah. Ooh, wet your brow, wipe right. your brow off, and right. then it's back into summertime yeah. and everything else going on. And the Whipple Balls, uh, Whipple Ball Field opens up. Um, you know, I think we're going to have some fun with you guys later this summer. Um, we got a 100-acre property that we're about to uh, do some interesting things on. So, nice. you know, in terms of, um, in terms of what, what, what people are listening to, mm -hmm. we're not stopping. It doesn't seem that way, and we're, we're glad you started way back when, on this very date, December 15th, yep. 27 years ago. Keep up the good work. Trip Ruvain from Barley Creek Brewing Company. Jimmy, thank Cheers you. to you and your team here. You guys do a fantastic job. And stop in on the Pocono Beverage Trail. Make sure you check in here. You get cool swag like this free hat right here. Yeah. And uh, But you can also get really great food, really great service, and, you know, be a local. Here, here. Here, here. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Jim Hamill here with Pocono Television Network and we are indoors right now at one of the many locations of the Pocono Beverage Trail, but this one's in downtown Milford. We're at Log Tavern Brewing Company with Ryan Scott. Thanks for joining us here on the podcast, hey, man. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we know you guys are semi-freshly on the scene here. How many years ago did you guys get started and how did you guys get started brewing beers? Um, we got started in 2018. Um, about two years of setup permits, things like that ahead of time. So, uh, but we've been open for two years since November of 2018. Uh, got my start basically uh, home brewing since probably early mid 2000s. Um, yeah, just got my start and had a, a passion for it, and it just turned into a you know, what started as a hobby just became my obsession and it just grew from there, basically. <laughs> I think you're, uh, you know, a lot like other brewers, right? Yeah, it's, it yeah. starts, you know, where you're just tasting and sharing with friends and then all of a sudden now you guys have a really successful location here in yeah. Milford and expanding eventually too. Yeah, that's the, the hope and the dream, you know. That's cool. So what can people find when they come to Log Tavern, including what do we got here? We got the Timber IPA here, a little West Coast yeah, style yeah. to sample, you know. Yeah. You guys got what, uh, what, what things do you have on the menu that everybody can sample? Um, we, I mean, we have a large variety of beer here, uh, a, a good mix, something for everybody pretty much. I mean, we, you know, I, any style basically you can think of, we try and have a, a good list, a good, good mix for everybody. Um, this area, we do have a couple New England IPAs on that we, we feature at all times. We have three or four New England IPAs at any given point, but again, we have a good rotation of seasonal beers, light beers, dark beers, just something to try and hit every, every crowd. So. Yeah, because that's a delicious West Coast IPA it, there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very uh, full body, you yeah. know, and uh, I think that that's what really people are looking for when they get out into the craft beer world, right? It's like something that they haven't really tasted or yeah. it's like a takeoff of something they haven't really yeah. tasted before. Yeah, it's the exploration, you right. know, so um, you may start loving one style of beer and it just grows, it evolves and, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you guys uh, do here on site then? I assume you guys have a lot of events year round, uh, fires going in the fire pit outside when it's, yeah. uh, you know, snowy out, you know? Yeah. I mean, just, you know, Milford Borough in general, there's just always a lot of events going on, a lot of town wide events. We do a, a big Oktoberfest here that's uh, a pretty big hit here in Milford. Um, also, uh, we do a, a St. Patrick's Day event and just, um, you know, and a lot of this stuff here is just picking up, piggybacking off of other events that are going on in town and, uh, you know, and that combined with um, the crowd of people here for hiking, biking, mm -hmm. fishing, uh, rafting, um, just all the good outdoor nature stuff. And uh, they come here afterwards or before and just enjoy our outdoor setting uh, by the Salt Hill River. It does pair really well, right? Yeah, like all that activity, yeah, yep. this is like your reward for yep. that, right? Yeah. Um, what is it about being in downtown Milford too and so close to those things that you think people kind of can work that into their visit here or even, you know, a day out on the town? Yeah, I mean, it's just the proximity to all those all those good things that people want to do outdoors, and we're situated right in the, the heart of all of that, so. 
Yeah, you are. Yeah. Cool, man. Um, talk to me then, too. You guys have been brewing here in your operation-wise. Um, that, that's a full-time job, is yeah. it not? I mean, yeah, you're probably yeah. pulling long days and long hours yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah just uh, you know, aside just from the brewing aspect of it, being a business owner, it just comes with a whole other uh, a slew of things that you get to deal with and contend with day to day, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I love every minute of I love every minute of it. <laughs> it does seem that way, man. Yeah, like you're yeah. totally into what you do. Yeah, so that's absolutely. Awesome. And uh, w which beers are your favorite here? I mean, um, I, I do have a, a little bit of a soft spot for Timber because it's one of the uh, the mm -hmm. home brews that I, I really focused on for a lot of years before mm -hmm. uh, calling it my my final rendition that I, I currently make today. So that's cool. Um, I know the trend right now is New England IPAs, but you know, back when West Coast was the, the, the all the rage, yeah. uh, yeah, that was my main focus was timber at that time. So I still do drink that quite often myself. And, you know, it, it does have that flavor, I think, of what your branding is, too. You guys have some pretty cool um, logo action. And this Yeti yeah. guy with the sunglasses yeah. is totally like, you know, um, I, I think it, it, it behooves the, the flavor and the character yeah. of what you guys have as a product. Ties it all in, encompasses the whole the whole picture, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. People, yeah. It really stands out, too, yeah. amongst the landscape of of breweries because like yep. you have your own stamp on things yeah absolutely yep. that's cool people love the yeti yeah they definitely <laughs> do love the yeti and and I, i'm enjoying this beer tremendously um do you i understand too you like to collaborate with other breweries. absolutely right? yeah i mean it's a it's a good uh good family community i mean we all you know all the breweries in in uh the poconos we we try and work with each other um we do a collaboration with hopping eagle brewery and uh, wall and paul pack brewing and um a group called Sons of the Hunt. We do a beer called um, Beyond the Pines. It's a spruce tip, uh, New England IPA kind of variation that that we all got together and put together uh, about three, four years back. And we've been making it seasonally ever since. And um, yeah, we all work together. And if anyone ever needs anything or needs any help, needs supplies, we all just reach out to each other and just, you know, we all work together. That's really cool, man. I think that's like the, the brotherhood, sisterhood of yeah. what you guys do. And and that is really what we've tried to help promote, too, is this beverage trail where maybe you can't get to all the locations in the Poconos at once because it's so yeah. uh, expansive north to south. But here, you could really hit the Route 6 corridor and yeah. go from Milford to Hawley to Honesdale and get a lot of different brew operations in that. So, yeah. like, you welcome people to come on out and try you guys out on that beverage trail, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this is totally awesome uh to sample the goods here and uh i would say if anybody wanted to come on in you like ipas this one's a good one to start with yeah. but they've got plenty you have like over a dozen there on yeah. tap right yeah yeah i think we have uh 14 beers right now and one hard cider uh you know good mix of everything uh good mix of everything uh, a couple new england ipas uh, the west coast ipa um we got one stout right now. More, more to come as we hit stout season yeah, here. Yeah, uh, I'm a stout guy too. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, Ryan. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to leave our viewers with here as we talk about the beverage trail and what you guys have to offer, you know, seasonally here at Log Tavern? Yeah, I mean, just uh, we just encourage everybody to come on out and uh, come check out Log Tavern, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Cheers, man. Cheers. Thanks for joining us here on Pocono Mountains Podcast. Thanks for having us. Stop on in when you're in Milford. Ryan and the gals here are going to take good care of you and uh, obviously drink responsibly. Absolutely. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Barley Creek Brewing Company and Log Tavern Brewing Company, just two of the distinctly fun and cool stops along the Pocono Beverage Trail, lots on tap in any season. Find them and others, including wineries and distilleries across the region at PoconoBeverageTrail.com. For a warm welcome and refreshing wine, Three Hammers Winery really delivers. The Hops and Second District Brew Farm are grown right here. At Insurrection Distillery, you'll get a big city feel in our small town setting. Your trail awaits you. Make it whatever you want. Wineries, breweries, or distilleries. I've always wanted to craft a trail. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Visit PoconoBeverageTrail.com. We're back. Thanks for listening to Pokemon Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. If you are checking out, or let's say checking in at some stops on that beverage trail in the Poconos, you get the trifecta at Mountain View Vineyard, Winery, Brewery, and Distillery. We stopped there back in the spring of 2022, and here's the story of all the new things on tap there. Enjoy. 
Hey, it's Jim Hamill, and on the Pocono Beverage Trail, we have a lot of treasures throughout the four counties of the Poconos, including right here at Mountain View Vineyard. And Linda Rice, the owner's coming out to take us on a little bit of a tour. Thank you again for having us today. Thank you, thanks for coming out here. Good to see you, Jim. Yeah, give us one more time then. Mountain View. Mountain View Vineyard, Winery, Brewery, and Distillery. That is a mouthful, but you have them all. That's it, I have something for everyone, all adult beverages. Nice, so you guys are welcoming back Yes, we're doing tours for the first time since COVID. I take folks into the vineyard and what I'd like to do if it's okay with yeah. you is just tell folks a little bit about what we've added yeah. since you were here last. Yeah. So right over here we are adding a whole nother outdoor bar. Ooh. It's going to have 16 taps because all of our wine and beer are on tap now. Oh, fantastic. Um, there will be a slushy machine out here. And the most awesome part is gonna be a wood fire pizza oven. Nice. Super excited. And then folks can come over here uh -huh. um, if they'd like to have a seat on this side of our building. This is brand new. Uh, this has gas fire pits. Wow, amazing. Uh, yes, a lot of seating. We probably have seating for another 75 people or so, 75 to 100 people. The Mountain View crew has added so much to the Pocono Beverage Trail and their vineyard. Patios, a tent, playground, outdoor bars, and soon. Oh, and baby goats are coming. I almost forgot. Baby goats. We have baby goats oh. coming. My husband has been dying for baby goats, and I was afraid they would eat our vineyard, but he's talked me into two little pygmy goats, uh -huh. um, and their names are Billy Joe and Bobby Sue. Oh. I'm so excited. They're coming in about 10 weeks. New additions to Mountain View Vineyard, all to enjoy the main ingredients grown right here. We consider ourselves sustainable. Mm -hmm. um, we're not certified organic, but we do practices that are pretty close to organic. Mm -hmm. So if you'll see here, we have wood chips. Right. Uh, my husband will be coming back through and putting a whole nother layer. We put the wood chips down to um, keep weeds at bay. The 12 week growing season is underway and Linda and her team are ready to welcome visitors to learn all about the process. These are actually just starting to bud. Yeah, yeah they are. The grape harvest comes in September, and until then, Mountain View owners Linda and Randy Rice are pulling out all the stops, live music, tours, and what makes this operation unique? We're family-run operation, and, and that's gotta have a unique aspect to yes. it as well. Yes, we love what we do. People think that we're crazy. You know, it's been 18 years wow. since we started growing our first grape, and then it's been about 12 and a half that we've been open for business. And we work together every day. We're married 32 years now. Congrats. And we still love each other. We haven't killed each other working side by side. So let's go inside now. I want to show you a little bit about how things have changed right. since COVID. So prior to COVID, um, folks came right up to the tasting bar mm -hmm. and they were served their wine tasting, their uh, beer or spirits flights right there. Even though the rules were um, lifted, what we discovered was that it was a whole lot easier to take care of guests continuing to be seated. Uh, in fact, the guests liked to, the fact that they could stay longer, that someone actually took their order, hmm. um, which you know we didn't do that. It, it kind of forced us into turning it into almost like a restaurant. Right. If you want to visit and sample wine, beer, or spirits, you'll want a reservation and take some of the Mountain View goodness on the go with you in bottle, can, or growler. So, Linda, you are, you know, from the grapes being grown just outside here to bringing it in-house and producing wines and beers and uh, spirits. Then you can even sample them while you're having some food or some slushies and some, you know, uh, family time here yeah. at the uh, vineyard. So it's amazing that you can do all of this in one place. It's really uh, amazing it is. Thanks, sweet. Sure. That was our mission. Make it a seriously fun place for everyone to enjoy. And also we're pet friendly. Yes. Right? And we're going to have that. And we're going to have goats. goats, baby goats soon. <laughs> Can't Thank wait. Thank you again for having You're us. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out. Surely. For Linda, the entire team here at Mountain View, thank you for watching. It's Jim Hamill with the Pocono Television Network. Cheers. The Pocono Beverage Trail featuring Barley Creek, Log Tavern, and Mountain View, among many others. Find them and check in and get a cool hat at PoconoBeverageTrail.com. We hope you enjoyed Pocono Mountains podcast. Please remember to subscribe anywhere podcasts are available. Come visit us in the Pocono Mountains. Plan your trip today. Music